Hollywood Spotlight, presenting an all-star review from the entertainment center of the world, Hollywood. This is Tom Jeffrey, ladies and gentlemen, welcoming you back again to another session of our Hollywood Spotlight Review with Phil Harris and his famous orchestra featuring Leah Ray, the three Robert boys, our Hollywood troubadour, Larry Burke, and of course, the original slow brain through Arkansas, Bob Byrne. <laughs> well, let's see what the three Roberts boys have in their musical grab bag for us. Come on in, boys. Call the night, stars were out of sight, riding around in the rain. Asked her for a kiss, uh -huh. said she didn't kiss. We kept riding, riding around, around in the rain. Why then I held her hand, I get it. she didn't understand. It all, all seemed so in vain. Say, why then she answered, Yeah, all our happiness, riding, riding around, around in the rain. rain. Oh, no, it for June night, stone look for moonlight, linger down in lover's lane. Wait and pick a night, and I'll get stormy night, and take a ride in the rain. Riding, riding, around in the rain. Riding, around in the rain. Riding, around in the rain. On the windshield, it keeps raining all through the day. Riding, around in the rain, riding around in the rain. I recall the night, stars were round the side, riding around in the rain. But well, after the after the last of four kisses, said she didn't kiss, riding around in the rain. And then I held her hand, she didn't understand. It all seemed so in vain. Then she answered yes, found my happiness, riding around in the rain. I left my sugar. Hey, where'd you leave your sugar, boy? Standing in the mud. Oh, that's an awful thing to do. Now that she's plenty muddy. No. Oh, how they weaken in the rain. Playing games, huh? Well, boys, that's mighty sporting of you. And it's mighty sporting of Phil Harris to bring us such a charming star as we're about to meet. Let's hear from you, Phil. You know, folks, accidents don't just happen, they're caused. And it's the same way with love. So stop, look, and listen to Leah Ray as she sings Lucky Little Accident.
just an accident. Happy little lucky little accident. Lovey on the day that I ran into you and you ran into me. Why, ever since we've been content, blame it on the happy little accident. Lovey dear, it only goes to prove what lucky little breaks can do. Now we were both out walking, such perfect strangers do. It didn't take much talking to make me fall for you. Why, it was just an accident. Happy little lucky little accident. Lovey on the day that I ran into you and you ran into me. Thank you, Leah. That was really wonderful. And now, as a special little feature this time, we've brought a couple of lads from out of town. Yep, a pair of visiting firemen, Gil and Demley. Yes, sir. My goodness. Glad to see you all. Glad to see you all. Take off your wraps and throw them in the corner. We'll raffle them off later. Mm-hmm. Well, say, Frank. What? Uh, one of the boys was asking me where you came from, and I didn't know. Uh, where do you come from? Willie, you may as well know all. The stork brought me. No, no, wait a minute, wait a minute. I mean, what part of the country? Oh, well, Michigan, to be exact. Is that so? Uh, How's the Upper Peninsula? Fine, thanks, but I think I have a cavity that needs filling. I'm not sure. Where did you come from? (laughs) Well, I'll tell you, Gil. I came from a little village in Vermont. Vermont. And would you believe it? There aren't any Hebrews there. No Hebrews there, eh? (laughs) That's why it's still a little village. Mm -hmm. Silly gag, but pure. Uh Uh-oh, here he comes, that darky. Don't you know him? No. I hired him today. He's an exporter. An exporter? Yes. What does he export? Oh, no, no, nothing. He was fired by the Pullman Company. Oh, yes. <clears throat> That's good. I like it. I cop that one out of the Harness Makers Weekly. Mm-hmm. Well, listen, Willie. Willie, you yes. hired him, so you talk to him. Yes. I'll be found with my face in the icebox. Oh, well, why freeze it? You don't want to look like that always, do you? Hey, come here, Asthma. Come here. I want to talk to you. You don't look so good tonight. Uh, you, what's the matter, anyway? Well, tell you the truth, Mr. Dimlin, I'm hungry. You know, oh. all I had to eat today was a little old melon no bigger than your head. Well, that isn't so small. As big as my head? Well, it's about as long as your head, but not quite as thick. Ah, well, uh, where did you get the melon? It fell off of a farmer's wagon. Well, it's a wonder it didn't bust when it hit the ground. Yeah, it would have busted if I hadn't let it down easy. Oh. You you, you know, Mr. Demlin, that reminds me of a good joke I heard in Vaudeville one time. You want to hear it? No, but go ahead. All right, now you do straight for me. Now, okay. now how, how do you change a watermelon into a vegetable? Well, I don't know, Asma. How do you change a watermelon into a vegetable? You hold the watermelon up here. Yes. Drop it down there. Yes. Squash. Squash. Mm. You know, you know, Mr. Dimlin, it takes a lot of nerve to tell one like that, you That's know. That's right. I, I just told that one for the children. Yeah, they'd have to be pretty young if they hadn't heard that one before. You know, I never had much happiness when I was a child. Well, Asma, tell me, what was the happiest moment of your life? Well, I remember one time I was sitting on the fence and looking towards the west at that red glow in the sky. Why, Asma, you're a poet. 
I didn't know you'd get such a thrill out of watching a sunset. That red glow in the sky wasn't no sunset. That was the schoolhouse burning down. Uh. You know, Asma, when you think of that fried chicken you used to get at home, doesn't your voice get sort of husky? No, sir, but when I eat my wife's fried chicken, my voice gets husky. Well, why is that? It tickles the palate. Huh? You, you know, I, I bet my wife's the laziest woman that ever messed up a chicken. Well, if your wife is so lazy, how is it she prepares chicken that tickles the palate? She don't take half the feathers off of them. <laughs> okay, boys, and thanks. And, of course, you folks know that asthma is none other than our old friend Bob Burns in blackface. Well, Larry, it's your duty to give us another of your fine interpretations of modern balladry. Larry Burke, the Hollywood troubadour, friends, singing to a beautiful little lady, Arlene. Night wind are echoing above. 